guys, welcome to another Titan Tranchard experience. Uh, this is my second package in the space of less than a week. Um, probably the most I've had in the given time. Um, as usual, nice square boxes, fragile writing, everything, you know, done to the book. So let's just get inside. Once again, I'm not going to tell you what I've got. Because those who know me, I'm obsessed with the species. That's probably given a big clue. Hey, we're back to packing peanuts. Clearly he's got them back in stock again. Well packaged as always. And with a nice big tub by the looks of it. Um, I got a colony of Balfoys from him last time in a nice tub. And this time it's Postlotheria Vitata, the ghost ornamentals for those who don't like Latin. Just double check there's nothing left in the box. Cool. Let's just have a look with these guys how they're doing. I'm also going to video me rehousing them because um, it's always fun, these guys. Although, my regardless colony, they're quite good with this. Let's have a quick look. Hey. There you are, as you can see. Not sure if you can. One, two, three, four, and five on the tissue. He's going to run. No, he's not. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, there you are. So I'll get these housed. Um, key with these guys to let them have one hide. But yeah, we'll see how they do. Um, once again, thanks, Danny. Good prices. I mean, I think it's 20 quid plus postage for these guys. So that's less than a five or each. Well, that's four quid each, isn't it? So, yeah, thank you very much. Right, rehousing of five P Vitatas. Um, always fun. Doing colonies. Here is, I'll probably use this lovely little tub that uh, Stanley's given me. So I'll have to take them out to put some sort of straighten bits in, then put them back in again. So, as of everything, we house them into a separate pot. There's one. Number two is refusing. Number two is going around the outside of the pot. There you go on the inside. So that's two thus far. So let's find out what number three, four, and five are. Brilliant. Yeah, they're all in the sound. Right. <laughs> well, one's keen. Where's the way? There we go. Down, down, down. Three in. Four. And five. Yeah, it's like the start of a joke. Five pokies going to a tub. Ouch. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. As I said, shouldn't really advise doing it with your fingers because obviously, even at this stage, they do have, believe it or not, a bit of a uh, bite on them. As usual, you always use a whole bloody toilet roll just to pack them. But I won't have it any other way. Right, so, one tub. Um, Actually, I need to walk in straight to the ventilation holes. Uh, did that with a screw it. Let's get this over and done with now. Where's my substrate? Using a Camelo Tropical Train for this, which is pretty much quite fibre, just dried out. Because these guys do like it dry. It's going to make a mess everywhere. Nice and thick, because even um, at Sting Stage, although they're boreal, they do like to burrow. 
not plug do. So, show you there. It's pretty much three quarters foot forward, just substrate. Uh, and then obviously you want to cut back, fence that sort of bit. Because it's a colony, um, definitely probably I put one hide in there, one, one nice slice of cork back, just so they don't get territorial with separate hides. Because I think the theory behind these guys, or what has been seen, is when they're communal, is when their area is getting flooded due to tropical storms and things like that. Um, so that's just one way to do it, actually. I won't put a little bit too much substrate in that. So that's one of the reasons why they actually band together. Uh, normally it's underground in actual network tunnels. Right, there we go, let's get some greenery in there. This would look far better with some of Stanley's Lego in here, I would admit. Screw it, let's just do these two for now. I don't want to overcrowd it too much. Well, I've been travelling hard, just get a little bit of moisture in there. Just stab the substrate, bind it up a little bit. I'll do. And rehouse them back into the bloody tub. Yeah, I'll keep that with them for the tartars. And as you can see, they're running around lucid already. So let's see how we go. Attempt number two to rehouse them. Oh, bless them. I love it. When they do that pokey pose. Right, so here we go. Tother way. There we go, one in. Bloody colonies. Uh, that's where I want a paintbrush. Oh, oh God, by row that will do. What's it going to hide? It's a touring. Oh, you little swine. No, back in. By the way. You da meh. Problem with colours, is they run all over you. Or down you. Uh, yeah, bits off back there, you. Go on, in. It's on the table. Sorry if you can't really see properly. Right. So number two's in. Number three's being a pain. Three's been outside the tub. And now it's for me. Three will hopefully be in there. <laughs> Falls on the outside of the tub. Falls on the inside of the wrong tub. On 
let's run the tub again. Okay, we've got another five in there, but here. Yeah. Right, so four. Well, technically number five again. Here, so we've got four in. Last one. There we go. All five in there. Let's just take that. Mm -hmm. So there we go. One pokey there in the court bark. Two of you, you can see his legs underneath the flower. Uh, and the rest of them, by the looks of it, are underneath, as you can see. Just hiding there. Also, these are very shy of uh, bright lights, so they'll just want to hide away. But yeah, thank you again, Stanny. Um, one of my easier cumin or rehouses, I will admit. But yeah, if you want anything like this, at good prices, as I say, this cost me 20 quid for five pokies, which is brilliant. Go onto Facebook and search Town Tarantulas. Um, they're very good on their prices. Just bear with them, he is one man doing everything. Um, but if you do wait, you are patient. He does reward you on my last box. If you watched it, I got two free Oligox Ray Diamantianuses. So I don't know how to say that. But yeah, there we are. So, five P for Vitatas, rehouse, communal, boom. Thank you.